Good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here. We have uh, Penn State offensive lineman Bryce Efner with us. If you have a question, uh, just use the raise your hand function and uh, on Zoom, and then I'll ask you to unmute and uh, we'll go from there. So if anybody has any questions for Bryce Efner, just go ahead and raise your hand. We'll begin with Rich Garcella. Good morning, Bryce. Thanks for doing this. Bryce, what did you guys uh, focus on during the bye week? Uh, what, you know, what were some of the things that were done? I, I know Cam was on with us a, a while ago, and he said a lot of twos and threes got got some work. Uh, what what did you guys do as the offensive line? Uh, as the offensive line, we kind of just went back to our fundamentals. You know, it's always good to work fundamentals when you don't have a uh, specific team you're playing that week. You just always want to improve your fundamentals. So I'd say. That was the number one focus for us during this bye week. Joe Giuliano followed by John Patchnock. Patchnock, excuse me. Uh, good morning, Bryce. Um, what did you do during the off season? The number of things you did. Uh, you're, you're, you seem to be part of the rotation now on the offensive line. Uh, what what uh, kind of work did you do to get to this point? Um. You know, there's almost, there's not a lot of stuff you can do in the off season that prepares you for a game. But I would say personally, what I did was I took uh, my note taking more seriously. I took my footwork more seriously, um, my pass setting more seriously. Um, and I just tried to improve those to the best of my ability. Um, I believe I've always worked hard in the weight room. I believe I've always given it 100% on the field, doing running drills or agility drills, stuff like that. So I think uh, in the off season, I just tried to elevate my football skills. All right, we'll go to John and then we'll go to Luciana. Hey Bryce, good morning, appreciate your time. Hey, just an off the field question. So the first four home games, 105,000 fans, homecoming week, there's gonna be another big crowd. I mean, I'm just wondering, what's the vibe been like on campus this year compared to last year? And just how much has that helped you personally, you know, going to class, going to practice, just kind of feeling, I'd imagine it feels more like a community this year, but I don't want to put words in your mouth. Can you just kind of compare last year to this year? Yeah, it's it's incredible to see uh, all the students back because, you know, you'd be going to a game and, you know, the, the stands are empty and, uh, you know, everyone's watching it and everyone's cheering you on. So to actually see them, you know, walk around in Penn State gear, uh, you know, like Thursday, Friday, leading up to the game and uh, just kind of feeling that sense of, you know, the word you said, community, like kind of the whole campus is back together and we're all, you know, excited for a uh, in-person football season. So I'd say it's incredible. It's, uh, it's a great feeling to have fans back. All right, we'll go to Luciano next, followed by Andrew Destin. Hey, Bryce, I hope you're doing well. Illinois allows one of the highest conversion rates on third down, and you have been struggling in that area a little bit. Would you say this game is the one to turn that around? And how important would you say that is for your team? Uh, I'd say third down conversions are always important. Uh, uh, we work a lot of aspects, uh, aspects in practice, and uh, we try and improve uh, any previous mistakes we made the uh, last game coming into the next week. So, uh, I think we're making improvements in all areas. Andrew Destin, and we'll go back to Rich. Bryce, we talked earlier today with Cam Sullivan Brown, and I asked him about Theo Johnson's abilities as a receiver. So how about him as a blocker? You know, how would you ev evaluate his skills in that aspect of his game? Uh, I think all of our tight ends have been an amazing uh, uh, component in our offense. I think they're all amazing blockers. Uh, as you guys probably know, Ty Howell is the uh, tight ends coach for him uh, this year. And last year he was a, uh, he was working uh, with the offensive line a little bit. And uh, I think he's brought a, uh, a great uh, X factor to the uh, tight ends this year. And uh, I just think all of them have been, have been you know, catching balls and blocking unbelievably. We'll go to Rich, followed by Joe Giuliano. Bryce, can you tell us the strengths of Taekwon, Roberson, Christian Valu? Do you see you obviously see them more than we do. 
Can you just talk about their strengths? Uh, yeah, I think all of our quarterbacks um, have, have are amazing athletes. And uh, I think uh, Taekwon's got uh, all the strengths that we would need to succeed as at our offense. We recruited him and uh, he's been a part of the team for, uh, I think this is his third year. And uh, he's grown as he's grown a lot as a player. And I think uh, the team has the utmost confidence that he can uh, perform just as well as Cliff. And uh, I think he is uh, going to be a great uh, asset to have on the field. Joe Giuliano followed by Andrew Destin. Uh, Bryce Des Holmes is one of my local guys. I wondered though, what kind of uh, a relationship you have with him on the line there and uh, what have you seen from him this season as far as uh, you know his uh, contribution to the line yeah I love Des. Des is awesome uh, Des is a great uh, positive attitude guy is what is what I'd like to say one of our core values uh, I come in and I could be having a bad day and Des could say something do something anything and it's kind of just lifts the energy up in the room. Uh, I think he's just, uh, I think he's just an overall great team player guy for the O-line. He, uh, he can fit in a lot of spots and uh, he's, uh, he's good to have around. Andrew Dustin. Bryce, you talked pretty highly there of the tight end group, but I guess, you know, Theo in particular, you know, what makes him special as an athlete, you know, not necessarily relative to the other guys, but just him in specific, what was uh, Theo bring to the offense? Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not in the tight end room. I don't, uh, I don't work with them um, as closely as I would like to, but I know Theo is a, uh, a hard worker. He's, he's pretty tall. He's a tall dude. And uh, he's uh, working on the jugs. Every time I see him, he's not working on something. He's on the jugs machine, working on getting better at uh, um, just catching the tougher balls. So I think his work ethic is just a, uh, a uh, high motivator for him. He wants to uh, be the best he can be. John Petitionock followed by Rich Garcella. Hey, Bryce, uh, just curious, what's it been like to work with Wendy Laurent? Um, you know, you guys are fairly close in age. He's back with the program and kind of like, how has he helped you in, improve as an offensive lineman? Um, Wendy's a great guy. Uh, I always looked at the uh, GA position as the um, intermediary between your position coach and the players themselves. So maybe something that your position coach can not articulate to you uh, in the best way. Like that's guided through the TA. And I think uh, Wendy does a great job of that. He's, you know, more personable with us. And uh, he uh, understands, um, you know, our age group a little bit more being that he's, you know, just coming out of there. So uh, he can relate to us more. And I think he's been a, uh, a great asset to the O-line. Go to Rich Garcelle, followed by Joe Giuliano. Bryce, what does the offense in general and the running game in particular have to do to get better in the second half of the season? Uh, I say that the number one thing is we just got to get more vertical. We get uh, we have good hands. We have good footwork. Uh, we're getting our hands inside. Uh, we just got to focus on, uh, you know, looking more vertical, getting guys a little more off the line and coming off our blocks a little bit more soon, which is our part, all, uh, all part, all a part of the fundamentals we were working the uh, previous week. Go to Joe Giuliano next. Uh, Bryce, coming off a lost tie, well, what was the uh, spirit and morale like last week at practice and uh, how have you guys carried that over into this week? Uh, it's not the end all be all. I think that was the overwhelming, uh, majority of the team's opinion is we're just going to play him again. It's not going to be, you know, a, uh, a detriment to our morale. It's not going to derail our train. Uh, we're just going to keep going and focus on the next week and uh, be one and out. Any other questions for Bryce? 
We'll go to John one more time and then uh, followed by Joe Giuliano to wrap it up. It, to follow up on that, Bryce, I mean, it seems like in years past, you know, a one loss Big Ten team may or may not get into the playoff. This year, the Big Ten is so deep that, you know, two teams could get into the playoff. And to your point, like if a one loss isn't going to knock you out, is that kind of what you were referring to? And you said, and when you said we're going to play them again, I mean, were you referring to the Big Ten title? Is that kind of the mindset of the team? Uh I'd say the mindset of the team is we're going to win every game coming in one and oh, that's always our mindset. So if they end up being at the end, our mindset's going to be one and oh. Last question for Joe Giuliano. Uh, Bryce, being a homegrown Illinois guy, uh, do you follow the Fighting Illini at all? Did you get a chance to uh, get offered by them? And uh, have you followed them at all? Uh, I, I guess, well, film study, obviously, but uh, have you followed them all just as a casual fan? Uh, no, I, I didn't grow up a uh, Fighting Illini uh, college football fan. I actually didn't grow up a big college football fan in general. I was mostly just a Bears fan. That was pretty much it, sadly. Mm -hmm. Not much, not much the Bears have been, uh, <laughs> not much the Bears have been giving me, but still here for them. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time, Bryce. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Bryce. Appreciate it.